Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll solve a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree and we need to find the maximum value present in binary tree as well we need to find the minimum value present in binary tree, right? So basically uh, it can has the two question that find the maximum value present in binary tree and another question is find the minimum value, right? So we'll try to get both the values minimum and maximum uh, in a single question in a single function if you want then we can have the different function as well right so like if you see this binary tree what is the minimum value the minimum value is this one right and what is the maximum value maximum value is this nine so it means our min value should be this one and our max value should be nine right so this is what we need to return right so we'll see one by one about the logic that how we can solve this then we'll see uh, that uh, what will be the time complexity and space complexity and then we'll see that how we can implement it through java code right so first of all about the logic like how we can implement this right so at the starting uh, at the starting what we can do uh, we can take a temp variable so i will take the minimum so i will take minimum with the uh, integer dot max value right or like any maximum value that you can choose like so basically in java we have this integer dot maximum value so init i will initialize my minimum by this value and i will initialize my maximum with the same opposite value so which will be integer dot minimum so basically it's just that like uh, as well you can choose maximum as zero at the starting and minimum you can choose any higher value right now uh, i can solve this question i will start from the root node and then i'll solve this question in in pre-order manner right so in pre-order manner means first of all i will check that whether this value if this value is greater than the uh, maximum value then update the maximum same way if this value is less than minimum then update the minimum so let me uh, put it like this so here let's say if i have minimum and here if i have minimum so at the starting my maximum is a um, min value so you can say it's infinity and this is uh, this is maximum value so I have initialized it with integer to maximum which is infinity so let's say this is infinity now I, I will for the starting to I will check that whether this value is greater than maximum yes it means update the maximum same way I will check that whether this value is uh, for minimum I will check the lesser one that if this value is less than minimum so yes it means update the minimum now i will check uh, for seven so now in pre-order so in pre-order what we do we have solved this question for this for this particular node now i will go left left means here now we'll check that whether this value is greater than the maximum so this value is greater than maximum yes it means update the maximum now whether this value is less than minimum so no it means minimum is still same now again i will go left so it will check for this two whether this value is greater than maximum no and whether this value is less than minimum no it means both values are remain same then it will go left so left is null it means it won't do anything right is also null it won't do anything now it will return then it will go left now again it will go uh, so it will go right then it will go left now five so now it will check that whether five is greater than maximum no whether five is less than minimum no right then again this is null this is null so it won't do anything it will return now it will go here for one so whether this value is greater than maximum no whether this value is less than minimum yes so it means it will update the minimum to this one right now it will return uh, because we have already covered it will return it will return now it will go in this direction this is null so first of all it will check for this one so whether this is greater than maximum no this is less than minimum no again it will go here in right direction then it will go then it will check whether this 9 is greater than maximum yes it means it will update the maximum then this value is less than minimum no then it will check for 4 and 4 is not greater than maximum as well as not less than minimum it means at the last in maximum value we have this 9 stored and in minimum we have this one stored right so this is how we'll solve this question we'll initialize the min and maximum with the with their extreme value and then 
will solve this question in recurs in preorder manner in recursive manner right so preorder means why preorder because we can first of all uh, we can first of all validate from the current value and then we can go right left and right recursively right so let me show you as well uh, so that you can understand it better so here is my function here is my tree and here is my function find min max value when i am passing the root node so here you can see that i have initialized the maximum with integer dot min value and minimum integer dot max value now i'm checking if node is null it means don't do anything just return if node of data is greater than maximum it means update the maximum and if node of data is less than minimum then update the minimum and then again recursively go left and then recursively go right right and guys if you want to know only particular value like let's say if you want to know only the maximum value so you can just uh, comment this one right so you will get only the maximum but let's say if you want to have only minimum value so you can uh, you can comment out this maximum value so in that case you can get only the minimum value right so at the last what you do once you run the function then you simply print the maximum value and minimum value right so if you run the program you can see that uh, i ran this program and then it is giving me maximum value is 9 and minimum value is 1 right so this is how uh, we have we have solved this question and now if you talk about the complexity so like what i am doing i am basically starting from this root and uh, one by one i am solving i am iterating the complete binary tree in preorder manner so it means uh, if i talk about the time complexity this will be big of n and space complexity will be why big of n because in one iteration of complete binary tree i am able to solve this question it means i am iterating of all the nodes so my overall complexity is big of n and my space complexity is big of 1 because as such i am not using any space it's just that i am using the system stack because i am using recursion right so if you consider that system stack then you will say this is big of n else it is big of 1 right so that's all about this question we have seen complete logic time complexity space complexity as well as the uh, how we can implement it in java and still if you have any doubt then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and guys i will also put the uh, source code of this in description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so thanks guys and if you have liked the video please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you